What's up, Joystick News fans? Today, we're diving deep into the trenches of Helldivers 2 to uncover some cool new details that weren't highlighted in the latest patch notes, but are seriously changing the game. That's right, Arrowhead Game Studios has been quietly working magic on one of the most popular weapons in the game, the Quasar Cannon, and they've just rolled out an update that's got the community buzzing. So let's break down what this means for you, the elite defenders of Super Earth. The Quasar Cannon gets a major upgrade. First things first, the Quasar Cannon, a fan favorite for its devastating firepower, has received a sneaky but significant upgrade. With the release of Patch Zill 1.800 on April 2nd, players noticed something new, a charge meter. Now, this might seem like a small addition at first glance, but it's a game changer for targeting precision. The charge meter is essentially a new mechanic that allows players to see exactly when their Quasar Cannon is ready to unleash its laser fury. This addresses a long-standing issue where players in the heat of battle had to rely on guesswork and timing to know when their weapon was charged and ready. No more misfired shots or wasted opportunities, the charge meter makes the Quasar Cannon even more lethal and user-friendly. Why this update is a big deal? You might be wondering, why is this so important? Well, Helldivers 2 is a game where every second counts, especially in higher difficulty missions where swarms of automatons could overrun you at any moment. Being able to switch targets on the fly without misfiring not only saves precious time, but could mean the difference between mission success and a disastrous wipe. This upgrade to the Quasar Cannon proves to be especially useful in scenarios like taking down automaton fabricators where precision and timing are key. With the ability to easily switch targets, Helldivers can now adapt more fluidly to the battlefield's chaos, making strategic decisions on the fly. A nod to the details, the typing animation. But that's not all, the update also introduced a charming detail where your Helldiver types on their arm when you're typing in chat. It's these small touches that immerse players even deeper into the game's world, showcasing Arrowhead's commitment to not just the big picture, but also the nuances that make Helldivers to such a rich experience. Community reaction and future updates. The response from the Helldivers 2 community has been overwhelmingly positive. Players are praising Arrowhead for their dedication to refining the game, listening to feedback, and consistently rolling out features that enhance the gameplay experience. It's clear that even small tweaks can have a big impact on how we play and enjoy the game. And with Arrowhead hinting at more updates on the horizon, including a new Warbond, the future looks bright for Helldivers 2. The community's wish list is long and expectations are high, but if Arrowhead's track record is anything to go by, we're in for a treat. Final thoughts. So there you have it, Helldivers. The latest update may have been about more than just balancing and bug fixes. It's brought a game-changing mechanic to one of the most critical weapons in our arsenal. As we continue our fight to protect Super Earth, it's reassuring to know that the developers are right there with us, enhancing our gameplay experience one update at a time. That's it for today's Deep Dive Squad. What do you think about the new Quasar Cannon Charge Meter? And what other updates are you hoping to see in the future? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with all things gaming. Until next time, stay brave, Helldivers.